Ivy has been wanting to carry around her baby tree and she's wanting to plant it. Are you ready to plant your baby tree? Okay. It's been interesting. The different holes have different kind of soil profiles. This one's pretty decent. A few of them, there's kind of a yellow clay layer. Some of them, decent brown soil. Hi, Ivy. Ivy, what kind of tree do you have? This one. It's a Brooks plum. Mm -hmm. Brooks plum. We need to remember that this tree needs to get labeled as Ivy's tree. No, Ivy's baby tree. Ivy's baby tree. Okay? Can you give me a thumbs up? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> get it, James, get it. Can I pop it to the wolf? Good morning. We brought some hay. It's, it's mid-February. We're using hay because we can't move too fast or we'll run out of grass. And we knew this girl, Butterfly, was close to having babies. And we see first babies of the year over there. Two lambs that look like they're totally fine and nursing on their own. Hi, sweet girl. She probably doesn't want me very close. Move it. Yeah, she's already nervous me getting this close. They're nursing. They're up. She's attentive. I wanted to bring her some hay, but I'm just going to leave her alone, I think. I threw a little flake of hay to her. She came right over. Really glad she wants to eat it up. The babies look so good. We just spent probably three hours, two and a half, three hours, using a 30-foot fishing net we grabbed off of Amazon and getting Azola out of the pond. So we're really happy with how efficient that was. And um, we're using the skid steer bucket to make a pile. And Azola, uh, from what we've read, is good compost or even potentially animal feed. We're trying to feed some of it to the chickens, but we'll probably compost a whole bunch of it and start making good garden soil. And what I'm really surprised with is that I think we got, say, 80% of the surface area of the pond cleaned up because the Azola had completely taken the pond. At some point, what would you say, sweetheart, the end of last year, by, by, last, by 2023, the Zola had completely taken over the pond. And it had been a long time since I looked at the pond and thought it's beautiful. And it's so nice to see the, the water and the sun reflecting off of it again. So, so now the big question is how, how long until it, it takes back the pond again? And we'll just have to figure out a cycle of uh, harvesting it. We'd put some fish in and we actually found three fish in the net over the course of of scooping out the azola so there's still fish in there they're real small you know from one to four inches um, so they're just not growing very fast not eating very much of it but rather than worrying too much about this being a fishing pond we might just settle for harvesting the azola to use as compost material looking good sweetheart 
You think you could be an Azola model? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Quick, we need one of those YouTube thumbnails where you stick your butt out. This is midwinter. <laughs> yeah, it's it's February. <laughs> It's late February. We just happened to get a 60 degree day, so <laughs> this water is cold. I wasn't ready for a swimsuit today. Either. All right, we've got our second set of newborn lambs. We were expecting them, and here they are. Kind of surprised to see a pair of brown lambs out of her. She's doing great. Um, we actually just moved the herd. But when they have new babies, they're not as inclined to move, so we're gonna have to kind of push her. Maybe I'll even pick up these babies and then have her follow me. I hope at least one of them's a girl. We already have two boys. Let's get some girls, huh? Hi, sweet girl. I know you're gonna be nervous, but we'll be nice. fresh grass they're just starting to eat on the dam of the top pond it's consistently been really thick nice grass after we built the pond they've grazed it down real low before and they'll do it again but it recovers really well there's the newest babies back there following mama nice and close These are the two ram lambs. They're growing so fast. They look real big because we're comparing that to these little girls that are only a couple days old. Maybe three days old. Look smaller, look a little wetter and colder. We've been getting some, some rain and kind of slushy snow. But the mamas are doing really well. The sheep can uh, can handle this kind of weather, especially if these babies keep a belly full of milk, they'll be fine. The mamas have to get out and eat to keep the milk up, so that's why they're out here. It's March 5th and I'm going to put out this video today is the plan and I just wanted to show the babies most up to date. They're doing really good. They're healthy. They're dry. They're with their mama constantly. She's getting more relaxed but she's uh, very alert still. So the, the, the two ewe lambs out of Ladybug are eight, nine days old. And the two boys are another nine days older than that. They must be over here somewhere. You see the little boysies? Are they back there? There they are. Here's how the pond is looking and here's the pile of Azola we made. Just give you a real close up so you can see kind of, it's kind of a flower fern looking thing. It has some little roots. It really doesn't sit thicker than like a layer like this on the top of the water, but it adds up to a lot of material. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a boy and girl duck out there sticking on that branch right next to those rocks. So yeah, we're curious. We, we harvested the material on February 24th. We're cu curious, you know, come spring warm up, how fast will the Azola kind of take the pond again? And then we'll, we'll have a sense for, is that harvesting work something we're doing twice a year, four times a year? We really don't know. 
We've got a little bit of spring activity that we just showed you. Baby lambs was really exciting. Planting some trees feels really good. Um, we've got tree propagation going on right here. These are all hybrid willows where they're just cuttings and then Tina's showing you they start to grow a root just by hanging out in water. Um, so that's 125 trees behind me of hybrid willow. We're getting for free. I got on a list to get um, red alders, a couple hundred red alders. So every three feet apart amongst all those fruit trees we did, we're going to plant a bunch of these with the idea being we could um, we could occasionally feed these trees to the animals. Like th these hybrid willows, I've got some out there that are a year old and eight feet tall. <laughs> and so every few years we could be cutting some of them down and letting the animals eat them deep in the summer. That's why we're planting trees so densely. We want shade in the summer for the animals and then we want aggressive growing stuff that they can eat. And then fast forward five, ten years, those fruit trees get established and bigger if any of those other trees are in the way, we'll just hack them back to the ground. And if they grow back, the animals will eat them. And if they don't grow back, oh well, because the fruit trees needed room. So we've also planted a couple acorns out there, like 60 feet apart for some eventual oak trees. Or um, I'm buying a few pecan trees. So all of that is coming later this month because the, the sources of trees... Um, that I'm mentioning are available in March. It just so happened these fruit trees we got in early to mid February so we went ahead and planted them but the rest of our tree planting is coming later in March. Mm -hmm. And coming later in March will be a whole bunch of babies because we've got a lot of goats and sheep showing big bellies, showing utter development. There's going to be a lot more babies coming mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. those two were two that we bought bred and so we didn't control their, their delivery date. We just happened to luck out that the second half of February after the ice storm was gorgeous. We had lots of 60 degree days, I think, mixed in there. Um, grass was growing, so it was great timing to sneak in some births for the animals. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We'll be back in, later in the spring with, I don't know, more babies is probably what we get most <laughs> excited about. So that's probably why I'll pull out the camera. But we'll definitely do a video about tree planting. I think I want to do a video about all the water stuff we've been doing out in the farm. Mm -hmm. But I just don't want it to be long and boring, and I'm worried that it might be. So if it is, just don't watch it. But don't tell me. I'll be sad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's it. See ya. Bye. Three, two, one. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> brave boy, brave boy. Yeah, 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 yeah.